Hey you guys, it is I the Sai. I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial on how airdrop conflicts and filling the battle wagons themselves are going to work. I took a look around and wasn't able to find any tutorials yet, and I struggled for a while before even able to, being able to locate uh, where the actual battle wagons were within the UI. So I'm going to show you guys that quickly just to let you know if you weren't aware yet. Uh, with Rebellion, there's a new airdrop system put into place known as Conflicts that require the player to stake unopened Rebellion booster packs or cards in order to participate in the ongoing war to fight the Chaos Legion and earn the new powerful airdrop cards as a reward in proportion to the amount of packs or cards that each player contributes over the duration of the conflict. Each battle wagon will allow for 5 cards and up to 100 packs to be staked. Cards and packs can be added to a conflict at any time and unstaked instantly. While staked, cards and packs will not be able to be transferred, listed for sale or rent, delegated out or used on land. However, cards that are staked on a conflict will still be able to be used in battle. So don't worry guys, you can stake all your rebellion cards and you'll still be able to play them while at the same time earning these valuable airdrops. Now, we also got a little bit of an update from Cryptomancer, unofficially of course, on Discord that says the delay in conflicts has been useful. They've added a minimum airdrop guarantee and also to make the conflicts more accessible to new players, they added credits and DECS purchase options for Mage Wagons. However, by far, the cheapest and most cost-effective option will still be with vouchers. That being said, let's go ahead, let's pop here into the Mav server. And the first thing that I looked for here was, where are the actual battle wagons? Where are the conflicts? How do you even find them? I started off by looking in the market at other items. I couldn't find anything to do with mage wagons anywhere, battle wagons, anything to do with conflicts. So I had to look around for quite some time. I would have thought that they would have added something to the UI for something like this. However, if we go and we click on uh, shop, we'll see that there's rebellion and we scroll down and here we go. There's rebellion conflicts underneath the ability to buy packs. And what you need to do is you need to enter the conflict itself. Once you're in, you'll see that here on the Mav server, they've already done Rage, right? But going back, we'll be able to enter into a conflict by clicking on the Enter button. So you'll see that there's a leaderboard that's set up that shows how much each person earned, where you are on the leaderboard itself. But what you're going to want to do here is the first thing is you're going to want to purchase a battle wagon. I've already purchased a few, but you'll find Add Wagon at the bottom. If you've already got some, you might have to go to a second or third page. You click on add wagon and from there you'll be able to choose the number of wagons that you'd like to purchase uh, for uh, vouchers. I'm assuming there will also be an option for DEC as well as credits on this page once the update happens. Once you've got the amount of wagons you want to purchase, you click on the purchase button. You confirm the transaction and boom, there you go, you got some wagons. Now, filling the wagons is pretty easy. I'm going to go back to my first page here. You got a few ways you can do it. You can either click on the wagon and you can add each one of them individually just by clicking on it. It goes from highest contribution to lowest contribution. You click confirm once you got that done. And then you'd go back to conflict. You can fill your next battle wagon. Another way that you can do it is just clicking autofill and confirm. And that will go ahead and that will just autofill them with the highest contribution per hour. And finally, you can go ahead and if you've got lots of wagons and lots of cards, you can click on this autofill button here, boom, and it will fill all of the wagons with as many rebellion cards as you have available. And you can see that as you're filling it up, your, your, your timer here, your contribution starts going up as well, proportionate to the amount of points that you've now put into the wagon itself. Now, one of the things I'd always been looking for here is where do you stake the packs? I couldn't find any wrong here for pack staking. It's actually super easy. I thought that each one of these wagons was going to have its own separate pack staking, but no, that's not the case. It shows how many wagons you own. And then next to that, you've got manage packs. And it makes it really easy since every wagon you can do 100 packs under manage packs it shows you your total capacity. So I've got 16 wagons, 16 times 100 is 1600. I can put up to 1600 packs into this rebellion pack staker. So I'm gonna do my 575, which is what I have available. I'll click on add packs. There we go. These conflict packs have now been added and you can see now how fast my contribution meter is going up. 
each one of these, whenever the bar gets to the end, is going to give me another chance at earning one of these airdrops. Now, it's by no means a guarantee, but it's a chance at earning the airdrop. Now, just something you want to keep in mind, okay? There are timers on all these things. So, autofill can only be used every 60 minutes. Clear all can only be used every 15 minutes, I believe it is. Let's find out. Uh... You must have made wings. Okay, well, you, uh, clear all can't be used immediately as well. Let's just go ahead. Let's auto fill to confirm. This is something that kind of messed me up a little bit when I was going through it at first as well. Here we go. Let's go back to conflict. So every 15 minutes you can clear all. And the same thing happens with your packs. If you were to go ahead and try and remove the packs or add more packs, there's a 15 minute timer on that too. So make sure you do it right or else you'll have to wait for some cool down. So that being said, just one more time, let's go through it. First thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go, you add wagon. Let's say you only want one. There you go. You purchase the wagon. That's been done. Once you've got that wagon purchased, you go and you fill the wagon. Let's fill the wagon. You can do an auto fill. You can do each one individually if you wanted. And you press confirm. If you wanted to do the packs again, I'm on a countdown timer right now, so I can't actually modify it, but you'd click on manage packs, and this is where you'd be able to add packs or remove packs. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. I know that when I first started looking, I wasn't able to find it, but again, it's under shop. And then underneath the rebellion packs, you've got rebellion conflicts. You click enter, you go into the conflict itself. There you go and you'll see your contribution meter going up. So I hope that that's helped you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, share, subscribe, whatever it is that you're supposed to do. I appreciate any support that you want to give and uh, looking forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, it is I, the Sai, signing off. See you online. Take care, my friends.